this video, we'll review limits of functions using tables and graphs. First, what is a limit? We read that as the limit as x approaches c of f of x equals l. Remember that this means that the value of f of x can be as close as possible to l for x to be sufficiently close to c, but not equal to c. In other words, we're trying to figure out what the value of f of x is as x approaches c from the left and the right. Remember that the limit and the value can be equal, as we see here in this graph. The limit as x approaches c from the right and the left is this point right here, as we follow along in the graph, and the value of f of x at c is this point also, is l. In this example, the limit is here as we approach from the left and the right, but the value is different. So remember, we are looking for what L is. We're looking for the Y value at that point to be L. In this example, F of X is not defined at all, but L is still here as we approach from the left and the right. When we want to find the limit using a table, we can look at values getting closer and closer to 2 from the left, as we see here. We see our f of x values are approaching 9. As we go from the right, as we see over here, again, the f of x values are approaching 9 as the x values get closer and closer to 2. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 2 of 2x plus 5 equals 9. Here is an example where we could not just plug 0 in to evaluate what that limit is going to be. So when we use the table again, we look from the left as we get closer and closer to zero. We can see the f of x values are getting closer and closer to one. When we look as x approaches zero from the right, once again, our f of x values get closer and closer to one. So the limit as x approaches zero of e to the x minus 1 over x is equal to 1. After we learn derivatives, we could use L'Hopital's rule to analyze this numerically. But in this section, we're just going to review looking at a table in order to understand what that limit is. We can also use graphs to look at what the limit is by looking at, as x approaches 2, in this case, from the left and the right. In this graph, as we approach x equals 2 from the left, we can see that f of x gets closer and closer to 7. When we approach from the right, once again, f of x is getting closer and closer to 7. Even though f of x is not equal to 7, when x equals 2, it's equal to 10, the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is 7. So some key things to remember about limits. The limit of a function as x approaches some number at c does not depend on the value at c. 
the limit as f of x approaches a number is unique. There is only one answer. You can only have one limit. And if there is no single number that f is approaching as x gets close to c, then we say that there is no limit or that the limit does not exist. Here's an example where the limit does not exist. As we approach x equals 0 from the left, the limit appears to approach 0. However, when we approach from the right, the limit appears to approach 1. Since those are two different limits from the left and the right, the limit does not exist. We can also see from the table that the limit is approaching 0 from the left, 1 from the right, and therefore the limit does not exist. It's important to remember that if the limit from the left and the limit from the right do not match, then the limit does not exist.